This is a model of the Fonzamans watershed. We have already gone through the phase of doing a trail from the Chancellor benching to the top of the ridge. We're still in the rainy season. Having cut the fire trace, we are just raking the first five feet from the edge of the trace and we pile the cut grass onto the trail so that we don't have any exposed ground while it's still raining. As the dry season comes in and the threat of fire becomes imminent, then we will rake it further away from the edge and have it where it won't be susceptible to fire. So how this zigzag trail works is that whenever you reach a steep section, the trail will go left and then go right and then go left. But each turn, the trail will extend a little bit beyond the corner. So any water coming down is caught and is thrown off to one side and then thrown off to the other side and then thrown off to the same side again so that it's back and forth instead of being able to come straight down and, and cause erosion by you know, accelerating down the slope. You need to find where um, the plumb line will cross the bar when the legs are perpendicular to the slope, at right angles to the slope, meaning that is a contour line. Your contour lines run perpendicular to the slope. And so what you do is you, you estimate what is, you think is about level, and you rest the um, cord on the bar, and you put a mark at each leg, and you make a little mark on the bar where the line crosses the bar and then you flip the legs and you put that leg where that where the other one was and put this one here so in exactly the same spot and now you let it find its level again and you make another mark halfway between those two marks is perpendicular is absolute plumb to the contour um, you can also use the A-frame, and in this case, we'll be using it to create the zigzag trails, to maintain the same gradient on the zigzag trails as we go up. So you decide on an uh, angle that you want. You want your, your zigzag trail to be at a particular gradient. You establish that. And you make a mark, and the same thing. You flip the legs and you make another mark on the other side. So in order to maintain the gradient on our zigzag trail, we use the two marks on the A-frame that are equidistant from the plumb line, from the center line, which gives us our contour line. We have lines on either side of that center line that give us, will give us a constant gradient as we go up the slope. So having established that, um, position there, we put a mark and then we flip it and move the leg up and down until we've got, got it lined up with the line on this side. And then we get a constant gradient all the way up on our zigzag trail. What I do is I use the pointed um, end of the, of the mattock to join my marks that I put on the ground with the A-frame. And then I go back and I create the little benching. Using the other side of the mattock, I get the flat surface for walking on.